Walmart. So, so, but y'all, guess who all these people have in, what all these people have in common? All of them eating either support legalized marijuana or the dec decriminalization of marijuana. And I have much for joy. Whether you agree or disagree, it is likely that marijuana will be legal across the nation within the next five to ten years. I know many people in many walks of life who use marijuana, some for medical reasons, some for recreational use. Me, myself, I have my grandmother now, so I try to sustain. If they legalize me, just believe I'm going to be doing it. my speech, I just threw it in there. <laughs> First, I will talk about the history of marijuana. Secondly, I will talk about alcohol versus marijuana. And lastly, I will talk about the legalization of marijuana. According to the book, Marijuana, the First 12,000 Years, the history of cannabis goes back as far as 12,000 years, which makes, which makes it one of humanity's oldest cultivated crops. Cannabis plants were believed to have evolved on this, oh, that's my age. <laughs> were believed to evolve in Central Asia, especially in the regions that are now known as Mongolia and Southern Siberia. For the most part, it was widely used for, for, med for medical and spiritual purposes. In the pre-modern times, according to Barney Mark, a professor of ge geography at the University of Kansas, the Vikings and medieval Germ Germans used cannabis for relieving pain during childbirth and for two things. Mm -hmm. Cannabis finally came to the unit U.S. at the beginning of the 20th century, much like today, it, it, it arrived in the southwest United States from Mexico with immigrants fleeing during, during the, uh, the Mexican Revolution in 1910 through 1911. The plant was first outlawed in Utah in 1915, and by 1931, it was illegal in 29 states. In 1937, the Marijuana Tax Act put cannabis under the regulation of the DEA criminalizing possession of the plant throughout the country. Today, the federal government still classifies marijuana as a Schedule I controlled substance, along with heroin and LSD, indication it has a potential for abuse and addiction. Now I've given you a brief history on, on cannabis, more commonly known as marijuana. I will discuss marijuana versus alcohol. The truth is, marijuana is widely used in a manner, in a manner quite similar to alcohol. A study published in the Scientific Reports Journal reveals that marijuana is 114 times less deadly than alcohol. Being the least deadly drug among the seven drugs researchers looked at, alcohol was found to be the deadliest. Many people die, many people die from alcohol, and nobody dies from marijuana. The U.S. Center, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, reports that more than 37,000 annual U.S. deaths are attributed to alcohol use alone. And this figure doesn't include accidental deaths. On the other hand, CDC does not even have a category for deaths caused by marijuana. This is just another chart showing some of the things that marijuana, I mean, that alcohol increases in the marijuana dollar. Okay, uh, alcohol use damages the brain. Despite the myths we've heard throughout our lives about marijuana killing brain cells, it turns out that a growing number of studies seem to indicate that marijuana actually has neuroprotective properties. <laughs> alcohol, alcohol is more addictive than marijuana. Addiction researchers have consistently reported that marijuana is far less addictive than alcohol based on a number of factors. In particular, in particular, alcohol use can result in significant and potentially fatal physical withdrawal, whereas marijuana has not been found to produce any symptoms of physical withdrawals. Cannabis difference from alcohol in one major respect is that not seem to, it does not seem to increase risk-taking risk behavior. This means that cannabis rarely contributes to violence, either to others or to oneself, whereas alcohol Alcohol use is a major factor in the deliberate, deliberate self-harm, domestic accidents, and violence. Now that we've learned about the risks of alcohol versus marijuana, I'll now talk about the legalization of marijuana. Legalizing marijuana, on federal, legalizing marijuana on a federal level will provide economic benefits for the United States in billions. Legalization would, would also provide economic improvements for local communities as well. In addition to bringing in funds, it would save regional and government state and re, 
regional and state governments substantial sums and, and currently wasting law enforcement dollars. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Twenty-three straight states and the District of Columbia currently have laws legalizing marijuana. Um, yes. Uh, legalizing marijuana in some form. Four states have legalized marijuana for recreational use. In Alaska, adults 21 and older can now transport, buy, or possess up to an ounce of marijuana in six plants. Oregon voters approved a similar measure allowing adults to possess up to an ounce of marijuana. Colorado and Washington passed a ballot legalizing marijuana in 2012. In February, a measure provided by voters went into effect in the District of Columbia that legalized possession of small amounts of marijuana. Other states have passed medical marijuana laws allowing for limited use. Some medical marijuana laws are, broad than, are, are, are broader than others with, with types of medical conditions that allow for treatments varying from state to state. And today, I have talked to y'all about marijuana. Whether y'all like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I discussed the history of cannabis. I discussed alcohol versus marijuana and the legalization of marijuana. To conclude, I would like to say, for a country obsessed with free market capitalism and government spending, the U.S. has been slow to act on repelling marijuana prohibition, thanks to tangled associations between marijuana <laughs> and morality. In a nation where substances like tobacco and alcohol remain legal despite the lives laws, I'm surprised to see that marijuana is still tarred and stigma, especially when Clinton, Bush, and Obama have taken a toll. <laughs> <laughs>